It is 8 a.m. Sonam Doji is on his way to the Georg office to begin the day's work. Carrying his company and packed lunch in a backpack, he prefers walking to driving. In the office, Sonam Doji has already started living up to his pledges. He started by minimizing the office spending. Surrendering the revolving chair, he uses a simple wooden one and has not once used the office telephone. He said he has been communicating using his mobile phone since the day he assumed office. Sonam added he contested the local government out of pure intention to serve the country in his little ways and not for the perks. Even while chairing the recent Zongkak Sokdu, Sonam Doji declined the sitting fees. He also refunded more than 12,000 Yultrum the government spent on his 14 days of quarantine while attending the Kada ceremony in Thimphu in February. As a chairperson, he wants to bring about other changes in the Gyeok. The LG members and other officials attending the Gyeok Sogde will not get lunch from the office hereafter during the sessions. Instead, the Gyeok administration will provide lunch allowances to minimize the expenses. And the members are supportive of the move. <laughs> With a 10th grade qualification, Sonam Doji contested the local government elections for the first time in 2006. Now, having seized the much-awaited opportunity, he is looking forward to playing a critical role in bridging the gap between the people and the government for the next five years. However, he is yet to decide on whether to accept the vehicle quota, provident fund and gratuity after his tenure ends. During his tenure both as the GUB and the Zongkok Sokdu chairperson, he plans to focus on carrying out the developmental works in his Gyeok as well as in the Zongkok with transparency. He also pledged that he would make the services at the Gyeok office easily accessible for close to 500 households of Kabisa Gyeok.